Natalie Lucier here from Access Ally, and I just wanted to walk you through how we document our systems and processes. So this is our company wiki. It's hosted by Atlassian's Confluence platform. Uh, it's a paid platform. I don't know the exact amount per month, but it's totally been worth it for me. This is where we put as much of our how to's, our documents, um, and even our planning goes into this wiki. So I'm just going to walk you through kind of how we've organized it. Obviously, every company is going to have a different way of doing things, but let's just dive in. So we've got um, company operations. So these are just kind of things that we do on a weekly or daily basis. It's really helpful to kind of keep track of our core values, um, our ongoing uh, goals and monthly plans when we have events and when we do team retreats. We also keep track of all of our numbers here and meeting notes. So this is really great because we do our meetings um, every single week and we have notes that we take so that we can keep track and go back and visit what we've done. Um, core processes are actually extremely useful. So no matter how you run your business, you probably have different uh, pieces of your company. And so we have kind of an overview of all the different things we do as a business. So we have, you know, hiring, project planning, business design, marketing, sales, partnerships, software development, customer retention, accounting, and legal. Um, obviously you might have a slightly different set of core processes, but you know, generally how a business runs, there are some main things that everything uh, or every company needs to do. And so if you click here um, into one of these, you'll see that we've got more in-depth um, documents and more in-depth pages. So we have analytics, editorial marketing, social media, stats reporting, uh, newsletters, all of that good stuff. So um, all of those are kind of sub pages in here and all underneath you'll see under here, we have kind of who's responsible for that area of the business. So if you're a smaller company, that might be you <laughs> under all of these and that's totally fine. Um, but it just gives you an idea of uh, the main things that your business does to run. Next, let's take a look at tools and resources. And um, it's great to document how you use them, what you use them for, and uh, if you have any special tips or tricks, it's great to kind of share that knowledge. So, you know, we, um, we have, say, an Asana resource area. So Asana is what we do use to um, schedule our tasks and assign different stuff to different people in the company. So you kind of have some best practices up here. Um, we've also got how we organize our projects. So if someone is creating a new project, they can kind of see, um, should I create a new project? Should it be under an existing project? We also have um, some other things, you know, what happens if your task gets overdue? What do you do to, to kind of, you know, deal with that? So we just put some of our resources and kind of best practices for different tools that we use. And it's really important if you have, you know, run any type of company online that you might end up changing the software you use. So what we do sometimes is every six months or so, we kind of do a company cleanup and just review all of our um, documents and kind of our wiki overall and just look at, are we still using this tool? Did we change how we use it? Do we need to update that kind of thing? So really, really helpful to have all of your tools or uh, main things that you use documented. The other thing I'm gonna share is the start here your first week. So this is something we implemented to help new people on board with our company. So if we have a new team member, this is basically the first page that we send them to. And then we basically explain like, okay, what are the main things that we do here as a company? Um, these are other wiki pages and websites that they can go and check out. Um, and so they can kind of get familiar with what we're up to. Again, similar with all the software, we kind of just give them um, the top ones so they don't get too overwhelmed because we do use a lot of different things. And then just kind of explaining how the wiki works. Um, and then we do have some basic tasks that we do with everyone um, when they first join. So, you know, getting all of their logins ready, um, maybe setting up a one-on-one -on -one meeting with our project manager, participating in different meetings, just kind of giving them a lay of the land um, right here on your first week is extremely helpful. Um, and now campaigns and products. So, you know, you could say, okay, 2018, what were some of the campaigns that we ran? Um, and so we've got had some affiliate stuff, some joint ventures, you know, that kind of thing. We kind of just put these here. So for example, um, we did a training for digital marketer. So these were some of the um, 
you know, the things that went well, the things that we learned, the outline for this training and the documents for the slides and basically just kind of keeping everything organized in one place. Um, and then here under products, that's where um, we, we just have all of our products. So if you have different offerings, this is where you would put these and you can basically keep all the information related to it uh, all in one place too. So for example, for Pop-Up Ally, we've got um, our you know current sales pages, order forms, and you can jump in and see um, more testimonials or updates or anything that, that you wanna keep track of. So we do have different areas for testimonials, um, for client showcase, for release notes, uh, features and all that stuff for each product. So that's kind of how we keep organized on that front. So another thing that I wanted to also mention is that we do also put videos right into the wiki. So for example, under Google, we have our Google Tag Manager um, video that kind of explains how we set this up, cross domain tracking, all that stuff. Um, it can kind of get convoluted if we just have the uh, explanation. So that's why we also have videos sometimes to kind of give an overview of um, how to do things or how to set things up. So if you prefer to work in video rather than screenshots and written text, that is a great thing to do. And I think it's also um, really easy to maintain because if something changes, you can just record yourself doing it and then you can just replace the video. So there you have it. That's a walkthrough of our company wiki. Obviously every company is gonna be different and I highly recommend that you just get started if you don't yet have your systems and wiki for your business set up yet. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be organized in this way. Just make sure that you and your team keep it up to date and remember that it's a living thing. Um, it will get stale sometimes, so you have to kind of put a little bit of energy into it to keep it up to date. But when you do that, it really will pay you back in multiple, multiple dividends because you will save time. And you know, sometimes we forget ourselves how to do things. So it's really great, even if it's a company of one and you don't have a big team yet. Thanks so much for watching and I will catch you next time.